channel. So today I'm going to be sharing with you a highly requested review video and it is going to be on this little cutie. It's by the brand Canon. It's the Canon PowerShot N2 camera. Now before I begin my thorough or my full review on the camera, my thoughts on it, I first want to put a disclaimer because I was really debating on whether or not I should even film a review on this camera. But the main reason why I decided to go ahead and film the review video is because I know at least for myself when I'm thinking about purchasing an item, especially a technology item like a camera, I really like to do my research on it. I watch a lot of YouTube videos, the pros and the cons, and also, you know, really, is it worth my money? At the time when I was deciding whether or not to go ahead and get the camera, there really weren't any reviews on YouTube, or even if I Googled it, there weren't really any reviews on it, mainly because it is a fairly new camera. The videos I did see, there were either like 30 second clips just showing the camera, or there were some reviews I saw, but unfortunately with those, they just kind of showed how the camera looked but you really didn't get to see how well the camera took photos and also the actual quality of it taking a video. So the main reason why I decided to get this camera was for the purpose of using it to vlog. And if you guys aren't following me on my on my weekly vlogs, I'm actually going to list that down below so you guys can check that out. And I really wanted to get a new vlogging camera, especially the ones that have the 180 flip screen, which I think is very, very convenient because at least with a 180 flip screen, you can see if you're in focus and it just makes things a lot easier. It is a very, very cute little point in camera so let me give you guys some key points about the camera besides it being very cute and compact I purchased the Canon N2 from Best Buy.com and it cost me about $299.99 it does come in another color in the color black and I believe it also is available in a pink which from what I've seen online it's only available I think in Asia so when you receive your camera it will come in this box and the things that it comes with, it comes of course with the instruction manual and just a couple of other um, little pamphlets that you can go through. It also does come with the charger and this is what the charger looks like. And then this right here, it's just a regular USB cord. So you just plug this into your camera. And as for the SD card, this does take a micro SD. So I had to go out and purchase this one separately. It also does come with this rechargeable little battery, which you just pop it right here at the bottom of the camera. Let me first give you guys the dimensions of the camera. So it's about 2.4 inches in height and it also weighs about 7.1 ounces. It is very, very light and compact. It also has a 2.8 inch tilting LCD screen which flips up to a 180 degree angle. So in reference to a regular point and shoot camera, this one is the Canon PowerShot ELPH1110HS. This one is more of like a square, whereas this one is of course a rectangle. The Canon N2 is a little bit thicker than a regular point and shoot, but in any case, it's still very small and compact. Another nice feature about the camera is that it does have a touch screen. And it also does shoot full HD movies at 1920 by 1080 at 30 frames per second. To start filming or start recording, all you do is press the red dot. And then to stop recording, you just press it again. And the speaker is located behind the camera underneath the LCD screen. On this side here, you have the on and off switch and also the playback right here if you want to look at any of the footage that you filmed or if you took any pictures. And then here, of course, is the back of it. And here's what it looks like with the screen when it's folded back. On the other side, you have here the switch. This one is for when you want to shoot the video and also for pictures. And on the other side, you have this extra little uh, switch for creative, which it's a really cool feature because you can make, um, say your regular picture or your video, it will automatically kind of change the scenery. It's a pretty cool feature as well. And then this right here is the button. You want to connect it directly to your computer or also to your smartphone via Wi-Fi, which I think is really cool as well because it transfers both photos and video. Another thing is that this also has a really cool zoom feature, which is pretty nice because the zoom usually on a regular point and shoot is up here at the top. But with this, you actually can just adjust it using the ring. It actually goes up to a 32 zoom and it is pretty quiet, at least from the times I've used it, the zoom was pretty quiet. And when the lens retracts, it retracts so that it goes back 
into the camera and lays flat. Another nice thing about this I'm gonna say is how you actually take a picture with the camera. Usually when you take a picture there's like a button at the top but with this all you do is you place your finger right on this little ring and you press down and there you go you're able to snap a picture and it's really really convenient especially if you're going to be taking a selfie picture or a group picture because you just have to extend your arm and just press down which is really really easy it's a very user-friendly camera now um, I also wanted to mention that this does have a flash right here on the top corner it also does take very good quality photos. In this particular picture, I had my ring lights shining in the background and the flash was turned on. As you guys can see, the image is very clear, crisp, and the colors are very vivid. For this next picture, I turned off my ring light and used specifically only the flash. And as you guys can tell, the image quality is excellent. Again, it's still very vivid and crisp and the images are crystal clear. For this last image, I did not use the flash and I only used natural sunlight and it isn't as vivid as the other two pictures using the flash, but still the image is very clear. Another excellent thing I'm gonna say about the Canon PowerShot N2 is that it has image stabilization. Now, like this one, the Canon, um, PowerShot ELPH 110HS. This has excellent Im image stabilization, meaning that, and when I say the image stabilization, it basically means that when you're taking a video, it's not shaky. It reduces the shakiness of the video. And something else I wanted to mention, which I thought was a nice little addition that they added, was that you can actually place the camera hand strap on either the left or the right hand side. As for the actual quality of the video, that's the only thing that really gets me about this camera is that it has so many good qualities about it but the quality of the video I just I really am not very happy with it when you take a video using the Canon N2 it looks very clear and sharp when you're seeing it on the viewfinder but once you transfer it over to your computer it becomes very very pixelated like you see a lot of little dots my main purpose of purchasing this camera was to use its video capabilities so when I saw that the footage was so grainy it it was such a letdown it was so so disappointing I know a lot of you guys were saying that the quality the film quality between the Canon N2 and also this power shot that they're pretty much the same like you can't even really tell a difference but if you're watching the video on your iPhone I noticed you can't really tell but when I'm editing my video on my MacBook you can definitely tell which camera was used the pink one or the Canon N2 Here I have the cameras both side by side and they are filming at the exact same time. And as you guys can tell from the Canon N2, it is a little bit grainier. This was taken in the morning with natural sunlight. I decided to take both cameras outside and this is still with the morning sunlight. The video quality with the Canon N2 is a little bit more vibrant and a little bit crisper than the Canon 110HS. With the Canon N2, you can definitely see the details of each of the leaves and it seems to do really well in natural sunlight. This was taken on the same day around 12 noon using only natural sunlight and I am holding both of the cameras out at an arm's length distance. Both cameras do have a wide camera angle lens, however the Canon N2 you can completely see that it is not as wide as the Canon 110HS. You can also see more pixelation with the Canon N2 in the areas where the video is darker. This was taken outside around the same time, 12 noon, and the Canon N2 does have a sharper, more vivid video quality in natural daylight compared to the Canon 110HS. I also noticed with the Canon N2 that even though I am holding the cameras at the same speed and the same time, the N2 does not seem to be filming very smoothly as the 110HS. This was taken on the same day around 5 p.m. in low light and the Canon 110HS is a lot darker. However, the Canon N2, it is a little bit brighter but the film quality is a lot grainier. So my overall thoughts on the camera, I think it is a very cute and compact camera, very user friendly, but the video quality on this was a very big letdown. I was just really disappointed with it and for $299 for my purposes, I just feel like it, I just cannot justify keeping it for that amount of money and I'm going to be returning it. So that is my honest review on the Canon PowerShot N2 camera. If I happen to miss anything or if you guys have any questions, 
please make sure you leave it in the comment area down below and I would be more than happy to answer any of your questions. I'm not trying to hate on Canon, that's just really my, how I feel about the camera. I'm a really big fan of Canon cameras. I'm filming on a Canon T5i and I also have uh, this pink camera. It's just, this camera just really wasn't for me. So. Um, if you guys found this video helpful and enjoyed it, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up. It really does help me out so much. Also, if you guys haven't subscribed to my channel, please go ahead and hit that subscribe button to be notified of new videos. Thank you guys so much for watching. I love you guys so much and I will see you in my next video.